Hey, church family, it's Wednesday, December the 6th. We're just a few days away from Sunday where we're going to gather again to worship our Lord. And then Sunday evening, gather to celebrate his birth, to sing the songs of Christmas, to spend time fellowshipping with each other afterwards with hot chocolate and Christmas goodies. An announcement went out today in the email inviting you to participate in bringing those cookies and those goodies that you bake at home and allowing your church family to share in them. So please respond to that. Please invite people to this great celebration and a great time of gospel community here at ECPC. And then make sure that you are planning to join us, not only on the 24th for worship, but then that evening for a very short Christmas Eve service as we prepare our hearts to celebrate the birth of Jesus. We hope you'll come, that you'll invite people, and that we can quiet our hearts together before the Lord as we worship him. There are a number of ways for you to be involved, not only here at church, but also in our community. Summer Hill has an announcement in the newsletter about several opportunities for you to support them if you'd like. And then our Embrace Grace ministry will have a diaper tree uh, in the atrium, a small tree with little ornaments instructing you exactly what to go buy if you want to help supply diapers for Embrace Grace and Embrace Life. We've got new blooms that are going to be joining us in the new year, and we want to have the larger diapers for these moms uh, to provide for their children. Then the session has called on the church to provide an extra contribution to help us meet some needs that we have here on campus and to supply for our missionaries. Would you please pray about that? Ask the Lord what you should do. The Apostle Paul reminds the Corinthian church that their labor for the Lord is not in vain that what we do in the work of the Lord echoes in eternity. So be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, the apostle says. I want to encourage you to serve the Lord this week. Remember that he is righteous, that he is holy, that he is good, and that he deserves all that we can do for him and all that we can enjoy of him. So God bless you. I look forward to seeing you Sunday as we celebrate his goodness together.